Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a very interesting game played by American chess grandmaster Robert James Fischer. In this game Fischer is on the black side and his opponent is Yugoslav chess grandmaster Milan Matulovic. The game was played in 1968 in Vinkovci, which is a city in Croatia. But before starting our game, first want to sharpen your tactical skills. Please take a look at this position and try to find the mating line for black. It's black to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Back to our main board and now without further ado, let's get started with this fascinating game and see what happened on the board. Matulovic opened up with e4 and Fischer responded with his usual Sicilian defense, c5. Knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4. Knight f6, knight c3 and a6, Fischer goes for knight or variation, against which Matulovic chose an offbeat line g3. This is a line which players are usually choosing when trying to sidestep the main theoretical battle, but I have to tell you that from time to time, even nowadays, this line can be seen even at the highest level. Magnus Carlsen is even sometimes choosing this line. Here Fischer played e5, knight e2, bishop e7 and bishop g5. This line with bishop g5 was Matulovic's favorite choice and he was playing this line very extensively. Knight d7 and bishop h3. An interesting idea by Matulovic. Instead of placing the bishop on the standard g2 square, he's playing bishop h3, where the bishop looks more active. b5 by Fischer, a4, b4, knight d5. In here we have the exchange of knights on d5. Right now the rook on a8 is hanging, that's why Fischer moved it away on b8. And after bishop takes e7, Fischer made a very interesting and precise decision. Instead of queen takes e7, he played king takes e7. This looks very interesting and I have to tell you that queen takes e7 is not good in view of this castling queen side. And now if you try to protect your pawn then after a5 bishop b7, queen d2, you will lose one of your pawns. That's why after bishop takes e7, we have king takes e7. In neither variation or in many lines of Sicilian, black is usually leaving his king in the center and no problem at all for black, you know. If needed, black can always castle by hand. Queen d2 by Matulovic, knight f6, bishop g2, bishop b7, Queen d3, queen b6, white castled king side and a5. Black is freeing the a6 square for the bishop from where it can harass white's army. Rook d1 and there it goes, bishop a6 is on the board. Queen d2, rook c8, h3. Well, by playing h3, white is preparing g4, but according to Stockfish, going for g4 straight away is even better. If knight takes g4, then queen g5 check, and if knight f6, then knight g3. If g6, then rook d2, and then doubling up the rooks on the d file. Well, from human perspective, giving up a pawn so easily looks a bit difficult, but on the other hand, in this case, white is gaining some activation. Unlike our game where h3 was played, it's black now who will get a very active position. b3 by Matulovic, after which Fischer captured on e2, removed the knight, which is already no longer controlling the c3 square, and we have rook c3, rook d3, rook c8, in here we have the exchange of rooks on c3, king h2, queen c5, gradually black is intensifying the pressure, rook h2 is virtually forced, otherwise rook c1 can be met with rook takes b3, and now yes, gradually black is starting to intensify the pressure, and Already, white's position looks miserable. Now the pawn on e4 is hanging with f3 and rook e3, queen g2, queen d1. Black is totally dominating the position. White managed to somehow activate his bishop, but that's not playing an important role in the game. He did it in the cost of giving away his pawn on f3 and now the pawn on e4 will also fall victim. Bishop takes e4 was played, rook takes e4, king f2, d5, and with two extra pawns this is going to be an easy win for Fischer. Now his king will also 
approach and it's over. In here, believe it or not, but on move 40 after f5, Matulovic resigned because just no way to show a resistance, you know, white's position is totally lost. Well, unlike other games which I'm publishing, in this game we didn't see any spectacular sacrifices, but the reason of publishing this game was first that king takes e7 move and secondly, I really liked how that unstoppable force Bobby Fischer managed to gradually intensify the pressure and suddenly White found himself in a lost position. You know, sacrifices can be made by everyone, but only geniuses can play such a game. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this game, thanks for watching. In the end, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.